Welcome to Excel Dynamic Chart Series number five. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College Upset link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Dynamic Charts. And this trick here, we want to see how to create a dynamic label. And this dynamic label will work no matter if you're hiding rows, uh, filter, advanced filter, sorting, formulas, however you're creating your dynamic chart. This is just the, the label part of it. Now, this particular one is uh, advanced filter. Now, in the last video, we did advanced filter, and we actually typed the criteria for date right in the cell. But now, I want these dates sitting in a cell as serial dates, and then I'm going to use them in a text formula and link the label. Um, but I still need the criteria up here. So one way to do that, of course, is to make a formula. This is a text formula equals, and then in quotes, I put the comparative operator and then the join symbol ampersand, and then clicked on that cell. Notice that formulas don't look at the formatting, they look at the underlying number, so it's showing the serial number. Guess what, when you run um, advanced filter, that'll work just fine. How do we do this text label? I'm going to scroll over here, and we want a label like between this date and this date, uh, Carlota transactions or something like that. There's the, the Carlota product right there. So let's do our formula equals, and if we're going to put text, it's got to be in double quotes between n double quote, and I have a space there, and then the join symbol ampersand. Now, if I just click on this right here, we can clearly see it shows us the serial number because the formula is looking at the underlying thing, but we want to format that in our formula. So, how do we do that? We're going to use, let me make this a little bit bigger here, F2. We're going to use our text function, and that's a serial number. You have to know custom number formatting. Text function takes a number and converts it to text with a number format. Now, the number format for date in double quotes will say month slash day slash year. Right? In double quotes. So the custom number format has to be in double quotes. Let's just see what that looks like looks good. I'm going to copy that because we'll use that again. Um, so between that date, ampersand, double quote, and space, double quote, and then I'm going to control V and just change this to uh, C, right? Because the other date was sitting right uh, in C. There we go. So if I control enter, we can see between those dates right there. One last thing at the end. Oh, this is dangerous when it's hanging out. It's safer to come up into the formula, but I'm going to very carefully oh, we made it. Ampersand and then space dash space ampersand. I'm sorry. Ampersand and then we need a uh, double quotes to contain our text, which is just a dash with spaces on either end, and then I'm going to click on that Carlota tab. So there we have it, a dynamic label. If we change this to quad, that label changes. If we change the date to, um, let's say, 10. All right, so our date. So this is going to be the criteria. And by the way, one, one reason you might use advanced filter instead of uh, filter is that then you see everything right up here, right? Ah, oh, but we're making a label. Um, so click on the label and hit the F2 key. Your cursor jumps up to the formula bar. Type an equal sign and then click on that particular cell. Now we have the data here is going to be dynamic. These uh, axis labels are dynamic and our um, particular label. Now I'm going to click here and just as we did in the last video for advanced filter, Alt A Q Enter. Alt A Q Enter. I'm going to change this to um, back to 14. That will give us a weak range. Click in one cell, Alt A Q Enter. So there we have it, um, dynamic label. All right, we'll see you next trick.